Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So today we've jumped systems to a bit cough here, and we're gonna have a look on the map to show you, show you where that is here. So it was only a 13 day jump. We managed to just uh, jump across here, and we're in St. Ives territory. So Federated Sons has most of the control over this world. St. Ives Compact and Compelling Federation are also vying for control. But what we wanna do today is take some missions to generate some capital, um, definitely going to need that to uh, re-outfit our mechs. So uh, let's take a contract here right away. Uh, we don't have the victor back yet, but that's all right. We're going to do gone to ground. Uh, actually, sorry, we're going to do aggressive negotiations first for um, uh, House Liao because it go it's against Davian. So maybe we can pull some of their control of their uh, uh, of their assets off of this planet. Um, I don't like Davian. Uh, all that much Federated Sons is kind of on our hit list. So we've been uh, targeting them continuously for quite some time uh, So it is an assassinate mission in the Martian terrain, but we're going to negotiate this out I think what we're going to do uh, is go full um, sea bills on this one and accept and We've got our Lance here uh, the bushwhacker. I think we'll probably leave out for this one um, Yeah, we got the two Thunder Old tens and the LRM on this guy for long range fighting. I think that's probably in the double TTS indirect. So let's go this route. Try and get some long range damage done on these guys. So let's deploy and get it done. Yeah, I know the Centurion's in a, uh, in a slightly incapacitated mode. All right, here we go. So he's over there. Looks like a crab or something. Uh, yeah, it looks like a crab. And we've got two other lances. So there's two ways you can do this mission. If you feel like you're capable of taking both lances on, you can move up and do that. Or you can head straight over and try and kill this guy and then get out your escape points over here. So since we're not getting any salvage out of this, that is exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start heading in this direction. Really, Darius? I, I I would never have guessed that. It's a good thing that you're on our side here. Make sure you tell us about those turrets again once we're right on top of them, because that really helps. Um, yeah, so we're just going to continue along here. Now the Mjolnir is really slow. I had a suggestion of perhaps... We're going to put a light engine in this guy for sure until we can get a Clan XL. Um, it's going to cost a million sea bills though. He's pretty slow through the forest, but he's not bad in this terrain. Um, so the other thing was, is uh, I was told, I was mentioned that maybe putting some jump jets on him would really help. Definitely in forested terrain, I think so. Uh, but in this particular instance, um, he's moving actually quite quick, quick, quite quickly. So it's not so bad. All right, so we're going to have to drop down into here, I think, next turn, into the crater. The problem is, is all these guys can target us, right? So Javelin, Wolfhound, Flea, and a Flea. So these guys really aren't that scary. This guy probably has an LRN. The Wolfhound is probably the most dangerous. It's got a large laser. Let's see what these guys got loadout-wise. Two SRM-4s, so that's pretty much nothing to worry about. One large on these guys. And nothing. We may be able to knock the well with just an ER large laser shooting. I don't think so. Can we target this guy? Come on. Get over here. Clicking on him. Wolfhound. Yeah, we can fire both. So we're going to do fire on the Wolfhound. Okay, we got one hit. They are reduced armor too. So we might get lucky and, you know, clip a few of these guys as we're moving across. Okay, we got eyes on the crab now. Oh, it's a Gemji, okay. Two arc welders and a large pulse laser. Uh, let's just fire straight on him. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. I should have thought about uh, if he's going to bug out or not. I don't know if... He, oh yeah, you know what, if he does, he's got to bug out over here. So I think we're probably okay. 
Um, we'll wait and we'll use the uh, Warlord in the second turn. Let's just fire. Oh, nice. Okay, Thunderbolt hits. It's always good when that Thunderbolt hits, man. It's like the arrow system in the uh, in my Cold Forge series. It's always really, really nice when that hits. Although the catapult in, <laughs> in my Cold Forge series, it's like... It's got like most of the time it has like a 90, 90 to 99% chance to hit with that arrow. Uh, I'm going to fire all four. Okay, one hit. Okay. Let's go, Rock. Keep yourself turned. Want to minimize any chance of them getting behind us. Um, I don't know when this guy goes, so I'm not going to sensor lock him. I'm just going to fire. Yeah, we started penetrating now. Critical hit, Commander. Probably the armor we hit with the Thunderbolt. Looks like the yeah, reinforcements are moving in. Jenner. We're going to take a few large laser hits in a minute. Uh, let's get... Rhino next, I think. The Thunderbolt 20. That Gemji hasn't moved yet, so... Um, let's Warlord this. Get our heat back. Dump it straight into this guy. Yeah, we missed with it this time. Figures. Uh, okay, Steve can go now. Let's get those four PPCs rocking. Warlord. Firing everything on this guy. Okay, three hits. Guy's not having a good day, man. Not sure why he's just standing there, too. Let's get down here. Because he's not moving. Warlording it again. Closer range. Fire everything on this guy. <laughs> there it is, folks. Let's get out of here. All right, now it's just fleeing. Flee the battlefield. We're fleeing the interview. Ready for orders. Just make sure we got our sides turned and our backs not uh, visible. Standing by. I wonder if because their mechs are uh, lighter with lighter armor, I wonder if the ECMs we have are blocking their vision to us. Shooting text. Okay. Fire away. So the mule near is only lagging behind here because we had to kind of go around and run up behind, around the catapult. You know, it'd also be good on them. I'm just thinking about it. If we can get some better heat sinking on them, like if we can get a clan exchanger, for instance, uh, maybe we can drop a mask system into them. Either a mask or um, supercharger. Supercharger gives uh, extra bonus to walking rather than sprinting, but the, uh, the mask system gives you a bonus to sprinting, although it, it does overheat you. Um, let's just get down in here. Full There's no reason to shoot at this point. Okay. I'm here. At least three more turns, maybe four turns. If you guys want to jump ahead in the, in the uh, video, feel free. I'm going to have to play this out, unfortunately. Just to see what happens. I don't know. These guys probably get hit with a few larges. Maybe a few more missiles, but that's about it. Phew. 
That was a close miss. Gonna have to read up a little more how the uh, the new system works. With regards to ECM and things like that. Because it doesn't look like there's a lot of evasion showing up here. Okay. Plink, plink. We should, in theory, take minimum damage off this. Why not? Huh. <laughs> Nothing happens. Oh, I see. Right above me. Two chevrons down. I see that. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Phoenix Hawk. Thank goodness you don't have to pay for ammo. It would be a nice way to, to set up the features of the game is to have it, you know, if you're using LRMs or whatever, you gotta pay for ammo. I mean, it doesn't have to be a lot. It's almost like, like armor repair or something. Let's just fire on this guy, why not? Let him know we see him. Mjolnir's got at least like one, three turns probably to get to get in the, in the uh, target. Uh. Target zone, Let's sprint over here. Sure, why not? I don't know. Maybe we get lucky and take someone's head off. Oh, we hit though. Inflicted some heavy damage. You did. Heavy damage. They're gonna catch that slow ass meal near. Although for a heavy mech with four PPCs on it, it actually moves relatively quickly. As soon as we can get more stuff into it, it'll be even better. I might strip it down to three PPCs, we'll see. Um, we've got a Warfare Suite, we have an NSS system. We have a bunch of other little things that I'd like to try and cram in some of these mechs. The light engine, I think we have two light engines now, or one light engine? Definitely want to put a light engine in this guy, Javelin. Pew pew! SRM-4s. For the win. Yes, Commander. Ten four. No point in getting close. That's the Phoenix Hawk. Wolf found. I've already hit this guy, so let's fire everything on him. Copy that, Commander. Looks like he's going down. That hit something good. Yep. Oh, something else blew up. I mean, we could stay and fight, but like I said, we're not getting any salvage. There's no point, right? We could wreck all these guys. It shouldn't be a problem, but we're here for cash. Cash and cash alone. Let's torture this wolfhound. Let's go for a CT hit, fire everything. Yeah, it definitely takes a lot longer now to play a match. Simply because, like, there's so many things going on. You can target guys from a distance, things like that, right? So, uh, yes, definitely full speed. Full Gonna be getting behind me soon. Let's just pew pew this guy. All Let's make him think about coming, think twice about coming up on us over on that side. We see you. Okay, Hellcat. Moving out. Wolf found CT firing. Should be able to kill this guy now. Yep. One target off the map. Enemy eliminated. 
I mean, we could get more sea bills just by standing and fighting. But we'll also take damage too, so we lose cash, right? So. Unless. Commander. We just go after the escorts. Just back up. Location confirmed. Got the range. Let's go after this javelin. I think he's part of the escorts. We kind of fire. Ouch. Minus seven. I think it's just that javelin and the two fleas. Here I am getting caught up again. The combat. We're making a million. I don't know why I'm so concerned about it. Okay, coming into here. Stay on target, but let's kill this flea if we can. Firing four. Oh! <laughs> Okay, now I have to kind of kill these last. <laughs> oh, I don't know which flea is the right one, though. This guy, probably. Maybe, I don't know. This guy's probably shitting himself. Yes, Commander. Nope. Uh... You got the speed to get out of here. Let's do this. can't multi-target unfortunately. Javelin's gonna go after me so let's kill him first. Bang you're dead. Half -file removed. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna stay and kill all these guys? <laughs> They're going down like flies so like fleas I guess. Maybe there is no point in leaving. I'm you. Says the guy that's about to get headshotted by somebody. Uh, let's move over here. Sure. Move order received. Bing. Uh, Warlord. This guy's already been hit. Let's just fire straight on him. <laughs> It's a freaking turkey shoot, guys. It's a turkey shoot. This guy's coming in to die. Oh, wait. Did they got a new model for the flea, or is it just a small... Uh... Okay, I have to see that. Hang on one sec. Damage minimal. Do they just have... That is a new flea model. That's not the uh, locust anymore. Look at that thing. That's awesome. It's so damn cute, too. Too bad we have to kill them. Look at it. Little antennas. Looks like a flea for crying out loud. Alright, we're, we're, we're killing these guys. On the move. Alright, firing. Maybe we get lucky on this guy. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Just recorded, I just finished recording an episode of Night Witches and I was like, just painful to get through the first uh, couple battles because you're just, you don't have the gear that you want or that I'm used to playing with. So it's like, just painful. And now I'm here and it's like a friggin' turkey shoot. So if you haven't, uh, oh, he fell down too. If you haven't uh, seen my new uh, series, Night Witches, uh, Rogue Tech Campaign, go check it out. Um, it's basically starting over with this version of Rogue Tech. 
Hopefully it'll give some tips to first time Rogue Tech players. Rogue Tech can be definitely daunting if you haven't played it before. Um, so check it out. I'm trying to give people some tips. I mean, I'm not a master player by any means, nor will I ever say I am. Um, regardless of how good I get at this game, still lots to learn. But, you know, oh, that guy's gone. But uh, there's hopefully some definitely good tips. Maybe we can learn some stuff along the way. If you guys can uh, put some comments in the section down below, um, either here or in the Night Witches series. Um, Fist of Dorne has always got some good comments in the sections down below. Um, good recommendations for outfitting your mechs and stuff, so definitely have a read of the comment sections. But once again, this game's all about your own playstyle too, right? So you can, like the fact that everything is so um, customizable in this game, you can just outlay your mechs however you want. Like if you want to have mechs loaded down with machine guns and flamers, feel free, right? That guy's gone. See, and here I was worried about getting away. I should have just stood there and killed everybody. Oh well. Jenner's turn. Let's see if this guy can withstand a Thunderbolt 20. Probably not. Nope. Well, there we go. Dirtied up the loot table, but it doesn't really matter when you're only getting one piece of loot. Alright, there we go. Payment increased by 35%. 1.5 million C-bills. Definitely needed that. Uh, and almost no damage, which is awesome. Look at these kills. It's crazy. Okay, and we got a Phoenix Hawk part too. That's actually not bad con compared to what was in there. It's nice to get something that's at least half decent. Alright, so a little bit of things changed in hands here. Yeah, 17 million, or sorry, 17 million, 17,000 sea bills in repair six days. That's really nothing. So that's awesome. So let's manage our tasks here. We're going to take another mission before the before the uh, episode's over. So let's bring the mule near up. Uh, well, no, I think that's actually pretty good. Five days for repair. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. It's going to be well, six days till our pilots are back. So let's just do it and take another mission here. There we go. All right, so uh, command center, contracts. What do we got going on? Anything interesting here? So, something we want to move against, um, either increasing, say, I'm cut, let's, actually, let's look at uh, Star Map for a second. So, we went against um, Federated Suns on this planet. They're down to 43% now. Compelling Confederation is up. So, they dropped 13% after that mission. And Compellence went up 13%. So, let's take a mission for St. Ives Compact, see if we can flip it back to them. So let's go with Gone to Ground, maybe? Mark Dropship, though. Uh, show of Force? Is this. That's Banditry by who, though? Doesn't really say. It's an escort mission, so maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything easy that we can. Yeah. I mean, Gone to Ground, eh. Recovery. Okay, well, you know what? Davian forces recover the drop, the cargo. So we're going to hit these guys. It's Davian stuff. We're going to take 5 and 21 salvage since we got really good last mission. Going to go this route. This should be a good battle. I think we're going to stay with the same loadout. The Bushwhacker is good for close in, but the Centurion's pretty, I mean, it's not that great, but it's pretty good at distance. And sensor locking so we're gonna go this route uh, we do have all ranged pretty much set up here so I think we should be good so let's deploy and get this sucker done yep all right gonna be raiding right that facility huh then getting out 
So I don't really like this map because of where we start. But we have tons of long range weapons, so I think we should probably be just fine. I think we got to turn to move first and then the enemy spawn in, so we can't spot them right away. Uh, which is probably really good. That way we get some chevrons of evasion. And then when they, like, we can't actually shoot on them while they're standing still. I mean, we kind of can, but just makes it fair. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just calculating where they need to be. Alright, we're spread out a little bit here. We're expecting long Tom artillery, that's why. Uh, there they are. So we got four. Crab, Wolfhound, Rapier, and a Raptor too. That guy's gotta die. That's the guy that that uh, tied me up last time with the uh, friggin um, taser. The mech taser. It's taser face. So we'll found three lasers and something. Crab. Looks like it's a normal crab build. Probably two larges. Uh, let's shoot for the wolf found. See if we can pull this guy down relatively quick. Ah, maybe not. Look at that. Chances to hit. A little better on this guy, so let's fire. Wolfhound's probably got ECM and stuff, so. Maybe three light PPCs on that thing. That's an interesting loadout. It's gonna overheat real fast, though. Ready for orders. Um. Don't need to run, just gonna walk it into here. Hmm. Just do it. Just get him peppered. Peppered for the PPC blasts. Comes the rapier. Now these guys might get reinforcements. Um, just gonna move. Give me myself the best chance to hit this guy. I'm gonna fire everything. Nice. Okay, let's get you in. And firing on this guy again. Nicely done! Okay, one mech down before they even fired. So you can see here, if you if you watch my uh, Night Witches series, a lot of the mechs are medium. We had a couple light mechs. The initiative on these guys is way higher than we had in the last uh, the Night Witches episode, only because the, the skill, right? The skill makes all the difference in the world. Doesn't matter the weight of your mech, really. It does a little bit, but not as much as the skill of the pilots. So I think he's our next target. So those people that are playing Rogue Tech, the newest versions, skill of the pilots makes all the difference. We want to kill Taserface here. Look at the speed on that guy too, right? All right. Um, Waiting for orders. We want Taser Face, guys. Let's kill Taser Face first. Uh, those are really good chances to hit for this, so let's fire. Something got damaged. That hit something good. Rapier moving in. Oh no, Rapier moving back. Don't blame you, buddy. On the move. Okay, firing on this guy. Really low chance to hit. Centurion definitely needs a lot of work on it. It's really just a filler mech right now. Um, until we can get something better. Uh, oh, he's got the T-Samp cannon, right? That's what we have. We've got one of these. What arm is that in? Do we know? Ah, uh, we're going to destroy it in a second. Oh well. Oh, we missed. Receiving 
We've got one of those TSAMP cannons we picked up in one of the last missions. I want to get that implemented into our melee mech. Um, they're just going to fire. Trying to use this rock as good cover here. He's got to reduce his shooting because he's overheating. I'm receiving you. So let's get Hellcat in here. She really is the best shot right now. Um, this is just going to go for the bonus chance to hit. I really want to take that T Samp off there. Crap. Guy's getting harder and harder to hit, man. Medium laser, 1.2%, really? Well, he did move a tremendous amount. Magnets! Sure, why not? Solid connection on that one. What's he gonna do? Come on, buddy, what are you doing? Look at the speed on that guy. Look at that. And of course now he's in the uh, friggin' uh He's in the uh minerals. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. I still got a pretty good, pretty damn good chance to hit here, considering the movement rate and where he is. Forty-eight damage. Light damage, Commander. I think he shut down. Uh, I think those are snub nose. Not yeah, snub nose PPCs. Do this. Should get to see everybody now. Yeah. Let's have a look at the rapier here. Is it the same as the? Uh, yeah, it's the same as the um, Raven. Looks nice though. Can't target that guy. Eh? Well, yeah, I don't matter. This guy's taking all the targeting. Look at all the shit on him. Narc beacon, haywire, tag, tagger, EMP, narc. Vehicle flamers, crazy shit. It's telling me he shouldn't be spying on us. It's not nice when you spy, buddy. On fire, burning magnets, homing beacon, oh my god! Tagged! I don't even know if that guy's shut down. Alright, let's get Rhino up. A direct fire. If we can pick up the uh, LRM narc off this uh, Raven, we can put it in this uh, catapult. That's another suggestion that we had. I think it was Vista Dorn. Again. Good suggestion. Be nice to be able to have that plus one to hit with this guy on everything he shoots at. Well, after the first turn, that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, see that? Tasered, man. Yeah, well, he's made a critical error, so. Uh, 
That's yeah, the same. If I, even if I just walk here, it's fine. Shoot this guy. I'll stay in the water. No point in leaving the water. Ah, only one hit, too. That was bad. Commander? Sure, why not? Move order received. Eh. At least we cool down, though. No love on that strike. Yes, Commander. Heading out. Scare the shit out of this guy. Put some stuff into his back. Oh, at least one of them hit. That hit Omni mech crit. Whatever the hell that is. Order. Keep shooting them. Here it comes. You miss with both of the thunderbolts? Really? Scored critically. At least he's knocked down. Okay, he's not going anytime soon. So let's uh get this guy. Like that. Okay, he's powering up. This guy's getting up. He's not doing much. He's got speed. What's he going to do here? Uh huh. Oh. He made the attempt. Oh, good shoot, man. Warning. Armor low. I want to know what that guy's yes, got PPC-wise. I don't think they're regular PPCs. Coordinates received. Pirate PPZs, maybe, or something? Uh, let's get the ER large off. We're generating a lot of heat. Taking the shot. Ready for order. A lot of extra heat, that is. Uh, for order. Let's get Rocky first. Moving to position. Put it in the back of this guy. Bye bye. Mech destroyed. Standing by. Now that guy I don't think moved, so we should have a good, relatively good chance to hit. Uh, maybe not. Firing all okay, Steve. Target this guy. Warlord. And fire. Ah, eh, one hit. Not bad. It did pen something, though. Do you have an idea what it is, though? I don't have an idea what he penned. Waiting for orders. Maybe we can find out here. Aye. CT. Okay. Um. Let's Warlord this. Use everything. Offensive push. Firing. CT. Fire. Okay, one CT hit, I think. Receiving you. Affirmative. Let's just hope we get lucky here. Roger. Damn it. Oh, okay, well Steve goes next. Who needs luck when you got Steve? Boom. Alright. Let's finish this sucker up and go home. Pretty good mission overall. What's up, boss? Understood. Moving. We were against relatively weak weak enemies though. We had the water to our advantage. They had height advantage, but uh, 
that water really favored us with our heat output on this map. Order. No point in moving. Roger. Venting heat and stabilizing. Receiving you. Confirmed. Hold it. All right, there it is, folks. Commander, holding here. All right, here we go. All right, so 67,000 we cleared. We'll definitely be paying that out in repairs, most likely. All right, tons of crab parts. Eh, nothing really we want up there. What's down here that we do want? Guardian ECM. We do have a bunch of these, don't we? We've got one. Well, that's a possibility. Double heat sinks, double heat sink kits. We have got two still. Mask. We definitely want the mask. Power TC, definitely want that. Stealth armor. Warfare suite. Oh god, so much good stuff. Oh, weapon mount. We've been looking for these guys. Stealth armor. We've been stumbling up upon stealth and NSS more than we have weapon mounts. I think we'll go this route. Yeah, so he was using Snubnose PC, PPCs. The closer we were, the bit more damage it would do. Yeah, let's take this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six crab parts. Rapier part. Light PPC, snub nose, tag, flamer, patchwork materials, nice. Yeah, so we made out like bandits on this one. That was really well done. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, we didn't flip it. Oh, we got a crab though. That's awesome. And 26,000, so it's a lot less than I thought it was going to be. We made actually a little bit of cash on this one, not much. All right, so that worked out really well. Let's have a look at the mech base here real quick before we end the episode. Uh, crab. We didn't get much on it, but we do. it's good to have that chassis. We've got two of these now, I think. Uh, let's have a look at the refit on this guy. So if we repair everything, 280,000. Let's just do it. Sure, let's just do this sucker. We got another chassis kicking around. We are going to want to get that second lance back up and running again. Our sea build situation is pretty good. It's going to cost a million to put a light engine in this uh, grasshopper or the uh, Mjolnir. So we really got to decide if we're willing to spend that. I think we are. Uh, the Victor is another one that we could put one in. I think we've only got. Go to components here. Oops. Components. Components. Sorry. Equipment. Light engine. We got two light engines. So definitely slated for the Victor and the Mjolnir. We got the proto heatsink kit. Most likely we'll be dropping this into the Mjolnir. Now that we got proto heatsinks available. Um, we'll be doing that. Pirate TC we got to add probably to the Victor. Regular targeting computer, virtual reality pod too. This is cool. Maximum evasion and stuff. So whatever our melee mech is going to be, most likely, we'll take this. Uh, weapon mount. Probably going into the Mjolnir. We'll see. Um, defensive gyros. So we got lots of great stuff. We got the mask. We're definitely able to build a melee mech now. I think. We kind of got all the components we need. Going to need to get more cores, though. That's one thing we do need to get. Um, and a proper missile mech. So... Yeah, we do need a few more melee items. I mean, that's not bad. We do have claws, which are great. Um, yeah. We'll work it out. But I think we got a lot of components that we can definitely definitely use to... Uh, Max out our mech. So maybe what we do is we work on the Mjolnir first, get that up and running, 
take a, take a couple missions to just go for sea bills again with the millionaire out of action. Um, and let's move this up so we get that done. Um, Victor will be done in five days too, so let's move that up. So all these will be done in seven days. Uh, Crab can stay at the end. So we'll work on the millionaire first, finish up the repairs on these guys, and then uh, run a mission probably to get some more sea bills and then work on the victor. We're going to work from top top weight down, I think. Catapult's another mech we got to work on. So we got to keep our eyes open for light engines right now. So yeah, we'll end the episode here. Uh, if you liked it, drop a like. If you have any suggestions for mech loadouts and stuff, just let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.